I tell people to learn to code the same reason why I'm sure in the 1600s or 1700s, it was good advice to tell people to learn to read and to write. Yes, not everyone is going to be a great author. Yes, not everyone is going to be an avid reader, but they should all know how to read and write. And I think coding is just the new literacy. For the same reason you learn mathematics, so you're not enumerate, and for the same reason you learn to read and write, so you're not illiterate, it's important to learn to code so that you are not computer illiterate. Computer literacy is a basic fundamental skill that will be a requirement of society going forward. There's a lot of people who think that uh, coding will be automated. These people have never written serious code. There is no automated, there's no automaton that will create the next Bitcoin. There is no automaton that will create the next Quake. There is no automaton that will create the next Minecraft. It, it just does not exist. Those are creative efforts. Creativity cannot be programmed. We do not know how to program creativity. The computer is the most powerful tool ever invented by humanity. In your pocket, you're carrying the single most powerful thing that all of humanity has ever invented. And it is, and it has been made very egalitarian. It's the ultimate Swiss army knife. It's with stuff in your pocket. And every little bit you can do to figure out how to use that better than you did before is going to give you enormous leverage. People who are talking about AI automating programming have never really written serious code. Coding is thinking. It's automatic structured thinking. An AI that can program as well or better than humans is an AI that just took over the world. That's end game. Mm. That's the end of the human species. Uh, and I can give you arguments why I don't think that's coming either. And I know I take the opposite side from some very famous people in this debate, but we're nowhere near close to general AI. Not in our lifetimes. You don't have to worry about it. Even in our lifetimes? Really? It's so overblown. Uh, it's it's another. It's a combination of Cassandra complex. You know, it's fun to talk about the end of the world mm -hmm. combined with a God complex. People who have lost religion, so they're looking for meaning in some kind of end of history. Right. Right. Um, the reason why I don't think AI is coming anytime soon is because a lot of the advances in so-called AI today are what we call narrow AI. They're really in pattern recognition, machine learning to figure out like what is that object on the screen, or how do you find this signal and all of that noise. There is nothing approaching. What we call creative thinking. I think you would, I don't think you need to learn how to code and be good at it. I think that you just need to learn enough so that you're not scared of computers. So that you don't, and you know, if you sit in front of a computer and open a terminal win window or some program crashes, you're not, you're not like, wow, this is some mysterious black box object. I don't quite understand how it works. It's good to understand how it works because then you can just use it better. And as I mentioned at the beginning of this conversation, you know, it's the most powerful tool ever invented by humanity. So knowing how to use it will give you leverage like nothing else. Even if even if you never need to use a computer in your job, let's say that you're, you know, you, let's just say you're in some other profession, eventually you want to get the word out, you want to talk to people. So whether you want to use Periscope or Twitter, knowing computers will actually teach you and let you know even how to spread your message. You'll be a better user of Periscope. You'll be a better user of Twitter. Yeah, by the way, my incompetence with the microphones notwithstanding, believe it or not, I am actually pretty good with computers.